I guess I would ask you this, as far as what you guys have built here, I mean, how much, I mean, are you aware of that Georgia image and the brand? I mean, is that something that even a guy like you, when he sees the headline, goes on? That's, I mean, is it something that hurts you and bothers you? Um, yeah, obviously, um, we don't want anything, you know, to hurt the Georgia brand. Our name is, um, you know, we represent the G. So, obviously, when something like something like that happens, where you're not too happy with it. We all know who's been stepping up at center. I know that you have an open spot. Uh, right now, uh, it's Trey Hill working with the ones. Uh, we have Warren Everson working with the twos, but right now, Trey's doing a pretty good job. How do you feel like Salyers fitting into this that side? He works at centers uh, sometimes, but mostly at uh, right tackle and right guard right now. Well, how's he done this spring? Uh, pretty good. I pushed him up, so he's been playing a good job. He understood what he had to learn coming from last year, and he's been playing pretty well. What's your relationship like with him, having played with him in high school? Uh, Jamar's pretty much like my brother. He played with him since like middle school, so pretty close. I was going to ask you about the, some of the younger guys. I mean, they're trying their pass rush moves on you. I mean, how, how impressed have you been, and who's jumped out at you among some of those newcomers at outside linebackers? Um, for me, all the outside linebackers are ridiculously athletic. Like, every day, they're coming off the edge as fast as they can. They have a lot of different moves. And I think it, it's just better for me because I get different looks, um, different type of guys, different rush styles, and it's, it's great for us. I was going to ask you that. Do you, you kind of got a mental book on what these guys are going to do, and yeah. what have you what have you picked? Have you picked up on Nolan and Jermaine? Have you kind of got them down now, or are they still doing some different stuff? Uh, I'm still trying to pick them up, but it's, it's a couple things. Like I try to change my set or how I attack them, uh, you know, like – Jermaine and Nolan, like different like sizes, like Jermaine's a little bit longer, and Nolan's a little bit shorter, things like that, just to um, you know change up my game. So it's as much chess, and it's a lot of this is premeditated snap, before the right, snap. Definitely, yeah. Uh, every play, depending on the play, uh, changes my set, uh, my angle, how I'm attacking everything. You're, you're pretty established for a couple seasons as a starter in the SEC. Those guys are new to the league. What, what's their mindset? I mean, I know they're talented, but. Do they talk trash? Do they, do they tell you they're going to be able to get around you and that kind of stuff? No, nah, they don't talk trash. They just come in, they work every day, they fly around. Like when I say they run through the whistle, like they run into every, after every ball, things like that. They just they play hard. Have they won their share of battles with you or not necessarily? I want to say they won their share of battles, but they, they do win practice. I know you won't be here in eight or ten years playing for Georgia, but when you see some of the things that Kirby's doing with the schedule, adding the, the Florida States and the Texases and the Clemson, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Is it, how would that have affected you as a recruit, I guess? Um, I think it's definitely interesting. Like, say, if I was a recruit, um, I can't wait to watch those names, you know, when I'm older. <laughs> What do, you, what do you expect the fans to see differently from the offensive line uh, going into this season in, in, in the running game? What, what do you think is going to be different this year than maybe last year? Um, in the run game, I don't think there will be any difference. We're still going to try to be physical and dominant, you know, try to lead the SEC in Russia. For a difference, I think, will probably just be, you know, being a lot better at pass protection, protecting the quarterback better. I was going to ask you about that. Do you think part of the reason why maybe – you guys weren't as maybe good because really you, you mostly stay ahead of the chains. I mean, right. there really isn't a lot of long down and distance. Right. A lot of times we do run the ball. We win first down a lot. So going to third and seven to ten was you know a struggle for us, and that's one thing that we talked about in the beginning. Something we want to get better at. Are they doing season. a lot more of those kind of mm -hmm. situational things this spring? Cause you know, that kind of uh, we have like competition periods, so we'll be and like a drill like has nothing to do with it and then coaches blow the whistle and we have to come and it'll be like 37 and you got to get the first down stuff like that just to get us you know used to those situations.